Hey guys, Guardy T six hundred. If I just move the stand a little bit, oh, oh, it's gonna, it's gonna fall. <laughs> hey guys, Guardy T six hundred here. Welcome to another video, 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 video. Today, 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 today. Hey, sorry. Uh, for some reason, I'm just so. I was a little moody today, and uh not gonna lie. I wasn't in the best of moods and for some reason I, I brightened up uh, mainly because my dad did get me this awesome thing and I love him for it. Um, I, I know I said I'm going to stop ha collecting Halo Mega Blocks because it's getting out of hand but the thing is with me um, I got to collect um, a lot of stuff like lately I've been collecting obviously Marvel X, Godzilla stuff, I'm going to be getting a Papo fin soon and Mega blocks, which is four things I collect right now, and I like the variety. I really do like the variety. But I've, I've been looking at all my figures, and I've been saying, "Why did I give up?" Because they've been releasing these new minifigure series nine, which I will be trying to get. And they've also been releasing Halo drop pods, and I decided to pick up the Halo drop pods. You do get just my dad. I told my dad to get me one completely random. I'm quite happy with the one he got. Uh, you get to see which one you get on the label, which. I'm perfectly fine with because these cost a lot of money just for the figure inside and the case. So to see which one you get instead of going back and buying every single goddamn figure is is understandable. So if we push this guy back, we are looking at the Halo Drop Pod Metallic Series figure. Yay! Uh -huh. Yeah, obviously these drop pods are very cool, in my opinion. As a Halo fan, they are super cool. Sorry about this, I'm trying to find a scissors because this wrap is going to be a pain. And I kind of... Ah, uh, right, let's just talk about this for a second. On the back, boring stuff. Mobike, really? Really? Do we have to have that? Um, as you can see, it comes with a stand, uh, a weapon, uh, it looks like a DMR. Right there. And a metallic series figure. This is why I got like this. And sometimes when you get green, red, and all that, it shows up on the drop pod. Like green, red figure, you get that. I would really want the red figure. Uh, green figure, enough one I would love. I want to get them all, to be honest. Green figure, get a green drop pod. If I get most of them, I'll do a review on them and say what I like about the coloration and if the figures are any good. But this one I actually had my eye on when I first saw it. It's the metallic figure, and the thing I like about it is a standard drop pod, basically. It's like a standard drop pod. So yeah, I like these little casings. They go instead of blind bags. It's kind of cool. I, I, and ODSTs, I, I love the Spartans, but ODSTs are like... The design of them, I just love to bits. I'm sorry, I just do. If we take... So yeah, as you can see, metallic figure, that's what we got inside. They got weird. They got weird. Uh, that's not the, completely out. They got... Awesome patterning on their body armor, I believe. So yeah, apparently has eleven pieces in there. If they count the drop pod as well. So I'm gonna try and do this on camera. So yeah, I said I. Oh god, let's just put that down, you know, because we got a pound for it. Look at the figure in a second. I haven't even seen the figure yet. I just put it underneath. Here's the little thing. Just clips into it. Um. Oh crap! I ripped it already. Really. Really? Ah, so this is the checklist of all the ones you can get. See, this is what I meant. Look, red, and it's not green, it's... Oh, it is green. See, it shows up on the thing. Now, guys, the ones I wanted was the metallic, red, and this one. Blue, I can pass on, but I still want it. So, if I do see these in shops soon, I will be picking, trying to pick up all three of these. So look out for those later on in the channel. I know content... I said content was going to be... A little bit slowed down, but it really isn't. I, I mean, I, I, I've been saving up for this trip for since last year. So, uh, well, I've been prepping up for it just in case. So you could kind of tell why. But yeah, cool, cool, cool. Why well, I've already got enough figures. As you can see, oh, you have to build it. Really, it is metallic though. I like that. It's not just painted on like I was gonna. I, I was worried that they were going to just paint on the metallic and it wasn't actually going to shine or anything, but it does look like the metallic is shining. <laughs> Give me one second. And the reason I'm going to pause is because I want to get everything set up, yes, but also the fact that 
Um, that these guys are much harder to put together than minifigures, uh, Lego minifigures anyways. So I'm going to pause this and I'll be right back. Alright, let's just put this to the back. Minifigure done. Like I did say, very, very hard joints to put on. Um, very difficult to put on him. But when you do put him on him, uh, I gotta say, this is probably gonna be... It's... It's... Probably... It is a really good uh, ODST and uh, figure, uh, minifigure. And uh, can I just say one thing? I prefer the OT, ODSTs, ODSTs design to most Spartans. I, the only Spartan I could say that I really do like is the EVA. Is that it? The EVA? Yeah, the EVA. Spartan. Apart from that, I mean, yeah, yeah, the, the, the Spartan fins are cool and all, but they, they, I just don't really feel like they're, they're brilliant. Uh, I no, if they are really good. They are brilliant. It's it's just like they're not appealing to me. With the ODSTs on the other hand, I think they are, and I wish you could play some on the the thing, but you can't. Uh, one thing I do like as well, when you get these uh, minifigures, you get them made in uh, from blind bags. You get them made in China, and you just get a blank uh, stand, I believe, uh, uh, like a little stand. I wish they would up out and get give us these blocks, because these ones are awesome. Look at that shine to it. The halo uh, symbol on it looks awesome. Uh, I don't get why we just don't get another one of these. And the figure does sit in it really well. I tested it now, just now, and it does sit in it very well. Very well, actually. I, I was expecting it to just sit in it well. Very well. Let's put that at the back. So that's two things that make up this figure so far. Also... We do get the DMR. In Mega Bloks form, I never thought, is it going to focus? Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Doesn't look like he wants to focus properly. It's just, if I maybe if I. Yeah, I, I don't know how I'm going to get a properly focused mind. Uh. I'm sorry about that. Um, I was just testing out my camera. Um, I've said um three times now. Um, four times. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna say um again. Um, <laughs> the DMR is um my least favorite Mega Bloks transition to a weapon into a thing. My favorite being the actual assault rifle, and then the saw and everything, and. Then the four the foreigners weapons look awesome. Foreigners, that's how you said it in the foreigners. Um, DMR, uh, I'm not too much of a fan of. Put this up back there. That's the weapon he comes with. Uh, now the actual figure, like I said, this guy I love. He does have a removable backpack. If we just put that backpack down there for a second. Yeah, it has some good detailing on it. Nothing too spectacular. It's the backpack we always see. It'd be nice if it was a metallic colour. But, what are you going to do? Here is the actual figure. And as you can see, it has an immense shine to it. Not an immense shine, but it has a really good shine to it. I just thought it was going to be paint and it wouldn't shine too well. This is metallic. It is very metallic paint. So the paint they put on it, good. Well, uh, as I sometimes do. Um, yeah, very good, very good for paint. Let's start with the head like we always do for the channel. As you can see, but you won't be able to see because the camera's been stupid again. Let me just try and get this to. See if I place it back there, it's in focus. If it's by here, it won't focus. How dare they? How dare they? If, uh, if I have to show you now, uh, th the pattern in looks like a shark, shark mouth, and all the ODSTs have it. You ask me, all the ODS ODST have it. It would be nice if I have variation, but makes them look like they're in a squad together, and I love it. I, I I don't know why. I don't know why, guys. I absolutely love it to bits. It's just because it's an ODST, I think. I'm being biased. I don't know, though. I haven't watched really too many reviews on this this guy right here. Uh, 
Yeah, and I do watch other reviews, by the way. I watch a review spot. The king of the reviews, if you ask me. Don't want to start. I don't want to start a huge war over this, but, you know, just me. I love the blue. They went with this. They do use this a lot for their ODSTs, and I love the blue. I believe they use this a lot. But I love the shark jaw painted on. It'd be nice if you got some eyes by there, but instead we got some nice groove detailing. Face really good. You got that metallic paint in. It just actually no. I'll put on it. I gotta keep his knapsack by here because knapsack um, is a bag by there because I need it for a second to prove a point. His arms. Nothing I like about ODSTs. Don't ask me why. Oh. Fingerless gloves is the fashion for me. Fingerless gloves equals top-notch awesomeness. The flesh colouring they got top-notch on the flesh colouring as well. Uh, black by there, I'm not too sure I would have loved, I would have really liked some metallic paint just on the shoulder pad. It's just me. But metallic paint there as well. I would have liked some metallic, it's the same for that one by the way. I'd like some metallic on the boot. But metallic on there instead. If you ask me though, I like what they're doing. It sort of stands out if there's metallic and black on it. It kind of stands it out. The back is where I have the problem. I would have liked if there was still some metallic, at least a little bit on there. And some people may argue you could put the bag on there, but it would have still stood out if you had some metallic outlining to it. Or even if the back was metallic, that would look cool. But instead, we just got a complete black. But, uh, uh, yeah, if you could put his, the DMR in his hand, works really well, obviously. Like I was saying, you could put the minifigure on the stand, and when they give you the stand, they give you this freedom to put him in, in really neat poses. I could have done better, I know, but there we go. That's not too bad, I guess. What are you going to do? Articulation I will get into in a second. His articulation is basically a ball joint in the head. More than Lego, obviously. Ball joint in the shoulders. Bend in the elbow. Swivel in the hand. A... Oh, crap. I thought I was going to be... Uh, no swivel in the waist, like I, <laughs> I thought they did. Ball joint in the leg so it can move out and all that, yeah. Uh, bend in the knee, and that's about it. But still more than Lego. Should we even be seeing? Somebody's online, sorry. It's actually Kieran Green 12. Hmm. That's a YouTube. <laughs> I'm not doing sponsorships on this. Maybe you should check it out though. Um, yeah, he stands. That's a better pose. There you go. Somebody's laughing on the mic. It's actually Jack who's laughing on the mic. Um, don't know if you could hear that, but... Um, also sniper very well, yeah. The DMR. And you can also put him back into there when you're done. Don't have to demonstrate that. Obviously, you can. Final verdict on these figures is that I definitely think I'm going to be picking up the rest of these guys. Right here. Red and green is the main priority. Blue is going to be the last, if anything. But pick up this one for a starter, really good, because it comes with the proper colour for the drop pod. You get a nice metallic looking... People stop coming online. Uh, ODST, you get a really nice stand, which comes with all of them. And you get a DMR, which I'm not hyped about, but you know. So, thank you guys for watching. I recommend you pick this up. It's a little overpriced, but it is a really good figure if you're a Halo fan. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.